for a mass that is orbiting another mass, okay, so one small one orbiting a big one, we can study its energy. Okay, so first of all, let us define this orbital radius r. And so we all know that the GPE of this small mass is just minus gmm over r. Now, the interesting thing is it's ke. Because for an orbiting object, we know that fg must provide fc, and so we have gmm over r squared equals to mv squared over r. And so what I'm going to do, first of all, I'm going to cancel away these r's, and I'm going to multiply half on both sides. And what you'll see is that this now becomes the expression for kinetic energy, half mv squared. And so for an orbiting object, its kinetic energy is actually just gmm over 2r. And the total energy of the object is the sum of these two expressions. And so that gives me minus gmm over 2r. Very nice uh, results over here. So we can use this whenever an object is in orbit. Now, so this also implies that if I plot these energies on a graph, so let's do an energy R graph, okay, your Ke will look something like that, and your total energy would be a mirror image of it of the R axis, right? So that's your Ke, that's your Ke. Bear in mind my drawing isn't very good, but uh, these spaces here should be equal, right? And your gravitational potential energy, where will that end up? Well, if you look at these expressions, right, I've got minus gmm over 2r here. Here I divide by minus gmm over r, so it's uh, dividing by a smaller number. And so you'll get a slightly more negative value over here. And so your GPE will look something like this.